In this project, we are going to be exploring how to control our circuit using a user interface. In the following demo, I have a simple RGB LED and I will be able to control the color that it will be showing based on the user interface that I am going to be doing. In this case, if I increase the value of the LED to blue, the LED becomes bright blue. If I decrease it back to zero, then it turns off. If I increase the value of the LED from zero to 100, then the LED will resume showing a bright red. Okay? If I set the value of the slider, to somewhat 50 and increase the value of the green into a maximum value, you see that the LED changes its color to a bright cyan value. If you are excited, then let's start exploring. Uh, this is the preaching diagram on how we are going to wire up our circuit. I only have two components that we'll be using in this circuit. One is the Raspberry Pi 4 and the other is the RGB module. The RGB module is a common cathode uh, module and it contains four pins. The ground pin, the common ground pin, the red, the green, and the blue pin. So, we're going to connect this RGB module into the Raspberry Pi through the following connections. The red pin is to be connected with the GPIO2, while the green pin is connected to the GPIO3. And the blue pin is connected to the GPIO17. The ground connection is connected to the ground connection of the Raspberry Pi 4. And that's all the connection that we need. This is how the RGB LED module is wired through the Raspberry Pi 4B. The four pins of the RGB LEDs are connected respectively with the GPIO2, 3, 17, and the ground. Since there's only two, two components, so it's quite simple to wire both connections. Let's discuss how we're going to power our circuit using the Python code. We need two libraries to be installed into our Raspberry Pi so that we can control how the RGB LED color is going to be. The first library is the GPIO0, which is the library that we're going to use to control the GPIO ports of the Raspberry Pi. The other library is the GUI0, which is the library that we are going to use to create the user interface. Okay? So, to connect to our Raspberry Pi, we'll just use the BNC Viewer. Click the BNC Viewer. Okay? And now, we're going to start installing the GPIO0. To install the GPIO0, just follow the steps in here in the installation section. So in my case, we're going to use Python 3. So we're going to install it something like this. Okay, so since the library is already installed, uh, there's no need for me to install it anymore. Then, we go through the installation of the GUI 0, and according to this, we just need to install it with this 
with this code. Okay? Let's copy and paste it here, then press enter. In my case, I have already installed the GUI 0 a while ago, so it is already installed right now. Okay? So, after installing those two libraries, we only need to install the Python code that will create the user interface and control our GBIO0. If you go to my GitHub link, you will see that I have created a file called sample GUI GUI 0. This is the sample GUI GUI 0. If we try to look at the application code, it just creates uh, an LED with an RGB LED of 2317, which, which maps to the GBIO 2, 3, and 17. We also created an app for the GUI 0 and create the following user interface. I have here three texts and three sliders which will control the value of the RGB through the Python code. If you want to learn more about how to create a user interface using GUI 0, then go to the GUI 0 page and look at the getting started for you to be able to explore how to control, create graphical user interface for your specific project. I specifically use this GUI 0 since this is easier to create a user interface rather than creating more complex or advanced interface such as using website or using Android app or any app to control our schematic. If we get back into the Raspberry Pi interface, let's, I have here the sample GUI, GUI 0, and then let's try running this one, sudo python3 sample GUI 0, then click enter. This is the user interface that I, I have created. These are the six components that I have created there. So I have here the text for the red, green, and blue, and the slider control for me to be able to control the value of the corresponding RGB. In our case here, if I set the value of the blue into a higher value, say 100, you would see that the value becomes 100. The same thing also, if you change the value of the green, you will see that the green LED changes its value accordingly. Same also as in the red LED, then it changes accordingly. If you set the value of this to a maximum red and increase the value of blue, you would see that there is some sort of a, a different hue of color which is kinda violet. If we take a look at how the code is being done, you will see that there is a, a function here called onRed slider change, the same as the green and the blue. The function just basically gets the value from the slider and set the value of the LED color. So whatever change that is being done in the slider is reflected back into the Python code and we adjust the value of the LED color through the following sequence of code. And that's it. Happy exploring!